jours se suivent et ça ne ressemble. One of the Pacific's most iconic voices. A career spanning six decades. We are in Fa'a Tahiti at the home of the legend Jean Gabilou. How are you? Oh, I'm, it's such an honor and a privilege <laughs> to meet you. It's so interesting. My, my father and myself, big, big fan. Big fan. Sixty years you're celebrating this year of your time in the music industry. This might be a hard question to think about, but what are you most proud of? What made me proud is, uh, is the, the work that I did coming from Tahiti. We are so far from the world. And doing what I did to get this name around the world, it's hard work. Whakatere Tere is arguably one of the most iconic Pacific songs. The combination of the violin strings mixed with the distinct sound of the ukarere has won Gabilu fans the world over. When that song came to you, did you ever think it would be so timeless? Yeah. Well, how did you know? I learned how to cry. And Marotea, the guy who wrote the song, called me. I called him. You have a song for me? He sang the song, and while he was singing, I cried. In 1981, Gabilou represented France at the Eurovision Song Quest and placed third. But before the competition, organizers tried to change his name to suit a more European audience. You know, my full name is Loughlin, Loughlin Gabriel Lewis Gabilou. So they wanted to change your name to Loughlin. Laughlin Gabriel. Gabriel. Well, uh, uh, that people know me with that name, but not enough. If you don't want me, if you want to change my name, I don't sign the contract, man. <laughs> Between the 70s and 80s, Gabilou performed across France and the USA, but it was a stint in Las Vegas where he rubbed shoulders with the biggest names in music. Then I met, I finally met Frank Sinatra. So we were we were close friends, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, and Sammy Davis Jr. They're always together. I, I don't know, they like me. Because because maybe because I come from Tahiti. You know? Struggling to make it to the heights of his famous friends, Gabilou decided to return to his island home. Even if I cannot be a big, big star like these people, I don't care. What I have in mind is New Zealand. Australia is a bit hard, but I've been there and I, I pack. Rarotonga, Fiji, Tahiti. I think, it, I thought this is a good market for me. Do you have any regrets? I regret I, 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 I did not get to the point I want to go. But I'm so proud of what I've, I've been doing. I, I did, yeah. till today. <laughs> Even though he's almost 80 years old, he still has songs to record and release this year, giving us a little teaser of his latest track. Eventually, when all is said and done, how would you like the name Gabilu to be remembered? I think it's uh, my music. You know? I think about that many times. But, uh, well, I think the people will remember me. They will sing my song in memories. Dohora manihini, bora bora.